Rich, Congress is kicking the can down the road again till November 17th. What are your comments about that? Well, first off, I mean, who at all could have seen this coming except everyone on Earth? Uh, you know, this is what they do. Um, Congress, again, shows no sign of having any sort of fiscal restraint. They're, they've got big theater. They fight each other with words. And in the end, they all want the same thing. They want more money than they have uh, and they want to spend it. Uh, and, you know, they bought a little time so the government doesn't default. Uh, although I, I just think these are a series of little defaults along the way, leading to eventually a bigger default. But, uh, you know, the bottom line is they bought us time until November 17th, um, at which time they'll fight again about silliness and spend more money than we can take in. And in the meantime, Jerome Powell, chair, chair of the Fed, is fighting a battle all by himself. You know, they, they continue to spend more than we take in. They, they need him to increase the money supply. Uh, he does that uh, to keep from a all out full scale default. Um, and no matter what he does with interest rates, it's not going to solve the problem. Uh, so it's just, again, more of the same. And, and everyone should have seen this coming. I don't think anybody was. I lost no sleep. Friday night, and I was not surprised at all Saturday morning. I find it interesting, Rich, with all the spending and that is going on, the U.S. dollar is still strong. Now, yeah. how is that affecting gold and silver prices? How does this all fit in? Well, it's not just gold and silver. It's affecting everything, Charlotte. So, um, you know, in about a, a three-week period from the middle of September to the start of October, gold is down about 5%. Silver is down about 10%. Um, the, the stock markets, right? So I want to say in about a, a three weeks of trading, um, there was, what, one positive day? All the rest were down days for the markets uh, to the point where the Dow, which was up pretty handsomely, uh, this year is is flat for the year. Uh, it's, you know, what is surging, though, you hit it right on the head is the U.S. dollar. And you think, my God, why? Uh, why is the dollar up when everything around it is coming crumbling down? It's And it's because treasuries are up. So treasuries are getting so, sold. Um, and uh, basically, the prices are, are plummeting. Yields are up. Right. So uh, investors look at that and they say, OK, we got a yield on, on the treasury at about four point seven percent PCI. Uh, consumer uh, inflation comes in about 3.9%. If you believe the figures, I personally don't, but if you believe the figures, you can buy treasuries and have a real return uh, that is safe with those air bunnies, right? Um, and I, I don't know, I'm, I'm looking around the economy, I'm looking at the marketplace and I'm seeing a different scenario. I, I think things are breaking and we're pretending that they're not uh, to hold on as long as we can to try and whip inflation. And uh, I don't know, something's going to give eventually. And I, I think it's going to be a debt bubble that bursts. Um, in the meantime, like I said, gold's down 5%, uh, silver's down 10%. It shouldn't be. Uh, great opportunities to buy well if you don't have your allocation uh, shored up. So if anybody's looking what to do in this environment, I think if you haven't already, shore up your allocation for gold and silver. It is dirt cheap right now. We've got um, silver down in the low $21 range. We've got gold down um, in the low 1800s. Uh, it's a great opportunity to buy. Um, there's probably one other thing I would suggest that people do, though, you know, to make sense of all of this craziness going on around them. Um, and that would be to join us. Uh, in South Beach in Miami for the, was it the 27th now, President's Week uh, with uh, Joel and Mike and the gang um, and a whole host of smart people down there at South Beach, uh, November, uh, second week of November. So I, I think you should join us. There's going to be a lot of uh, not just uh, confusion, but maybe some answers and some clarity uh, shed down there. America, the United States is not alone. They're not the only ones overspending and, and doing that. So you don't just have to be American to come to the conference. It's not answers for you. It's answers for everybody because Canada is in the same boat. You know, Europe's in the same boat. Japan's in the same boat. Yeah. China, watch out uh, with country gardens collapsing uh, on mm -hmm. the heels of uh, Evergrande. Oh my gosh, you know, we've got issues. You need to protect yourself. And I, and I, I think South Beach is going to have some answers for people all over the world. I think you're right. I agree. And Joel has been very gracious to extend the early bird deadline to October 8th. So go to presidentsweek.com and request your invite from escape artist. Mary will be happy to help you out there. And like I said, save your thousand dollars before October 8th, which is coming up very quickly to join us November 11th to 15th. Rich will be there. I'm going to be there. 
Uh, Tulsi Gabbard is the keynote speaker. Buck Sexton will be there. And a bunch of the writers from Escape Artist will be there as well. To, and you will get to meet everybody in a room and it'll be fantastic. One-on-one, -on -one, you get to tap yeah. into them. It's, a, it's an amazing event. If you haven't been, you need to go see it for yourself.